Getting an A star in biology is no easy feat. In this video, I'll break down exactly how I did it. If you're new here, I'm Hassan and I'm a third year medical student studying in London. Of my three A-levels, maths, biology and chemistry, biology was easily the subject I spent the most time on and the one I found most challenging. But as with any challenge, once you know how to do it, it becomes a lot more fun. I'm going to break it down into three main steps and then spend some time talking about the different types of questions. First step to doing well in biology is to understand and memorize the content. This lays the foundations of the whole subject and missing gaps in your knowledge you'll struggle to bridge the gap between a b and an a and especially an a and an a star so the way i did this was i made comprehensive notes on every topic i kept it simple but i also used multicolored pens to keep it a little bit interesting and any exam relevant material would go into my notes so i had three main sources of information firstly my college gave us notebooks for each topic second i would annotate that notebook along with my teacher's lecture slides and any information she gives us and then thirdly i'd use the cgp revision guide and there's a very specific revision guide that i recommend i'll put it somewhere on screen so you know which one there's two main ones the one i recommend and there's another one that's a bit chunkier the reason for my recommendation is because the textbook is a lot more concise and when it comes to answering questions in the exam you can mainly answer in bullet points you don't have to do fully written out sentences the chunkier textbook has long drawn out sentences that often misses the mark points and then just makes revision a lot longer so the mistake that i found that some of my friends did was they mainly used that textbook to revise and then when it came to in-class tests or the end of year exams they wouldn't perform as well and the reason for that is although they had a good understanding of the topic they were missing out the key mark points that allowed them to get marks for them questions and oftentimes they were spending a lot longer answering each question because they were writing full drawn out sentences when you don't need that you only need bullet points to hit the mark point once you've made a comprehensive set of notes that you understand you need to memorize it so there's two main techniques that i spoke about on my channel before and this is active recall and space repetition the way i did it wasn't the most efficient i read through my notes out loud whilst pacing my bedroom until i had them memorized and then as i'd make notes on a new topic i'd read through all my notes from the start to make sure i never forgot anything from the first topic this way i was continually going over every single topic Topic to get a very solid foundation of everything that I'd learned. So step one is make a comprehensive set of notes and memorize it. Step two is once you've made notes on a topic and memorize them, do practice questions on that topic. You'll quickly realize that the easy part of biology is understanding the content and memorizing it. The harder part of biology is the application. And there's a reason why the grade boundaries for an A star are so low relative to other subjects. To get past this barrier and to really push yourself over the A star threshold, please keep doing practice questions. And once you do a set of practice questions, which Whatever ones you got wrong i'd recommend writing the questions and answers in, in a separate notebook you can put the questions on the first page and the answers on the last page so then each week you can properly test yourself and as with the notes before test yourself on every question you've ever gotten wrong and this way you'll cover your ground really strongly if you're consistent with this notebook of questions it should build up pretty quickly which means when it comes time to exams your exam technique will be amazing. Step three, don't neglect your practicals or your math skills. So you need to pass all your practicals to get the competency, but that's the easy part. The harder part is the theory behind the practicals, and this is the part that gets neglected very often. So make sure you use the resources given by your teachers and the revision guide to go through practical questions properly. This is a huge differentiating factor, as it's where, in my experience, pupils lose a lot of marks. I'd split the questions into three main categories. First, we have the recall questions, and these are the easy marks, the ones you copy and paste from your memory directly onto the paper next you have your maths and graph questions these are still very doable you just need to practice and to read the question properly because they tell you where all the marks are in the question and as you do more questions you become better at knowing what the examiner is asking for next you have your application question these are the solid ones these are the ones that make or break your paper these were the only questions on the paper where i'd write an answer and i wouldn't know if it's right or wrong and the problem is they make up a hefty part of the paper so for these you just have to practice 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 there's only a certain amount of questions that can give you before they're giving you similar questions from previous years so if you cover as many questions as possible you'll gain an understanding of what the examiner wants and the type of answers that you need to write i wish you guys the best of luck with your biology revision and if you find this video useful drop me a cheeky like and i'll see you guys in the next one